sharp <laughs> edge. She said she won't laugh. She said <laughs> she said she won't laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Over my shoulder. No? Is it? I forgot. I never remember the lyrics. I never remember the lyrics. I just like to sing. Um, he knows how to sing. I know how to sing. I know how to yeah. sing. But um, yeah, a bit shy still in front of the camera. Anyways, today is all about makeup and this lovely lady that we have here, Masha. Hi. Masha, 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 Masha. Oh! <laughs> Again, oh my god, like the amount of times we kick this light here. Like she, in the last tutorial, she kicked it about five times. Five times, yeah. And now it's my turn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's all about the lips, so I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god, take, take 50. Start again. I'll start over. Today it's all about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god, we can't, I can't record anymore. But <laughs> we'll be talking about lips today, how different lip shapes change your appearance. Because uh, Masha has this lovely straight hair. I'll do curved lips first, so that you see how feminine women, night out, diva like Hollywood style look. And then we'll tweak it up with pointed lips and curvy hair. But first, let me do her makeup. Now we'll go on the lips. The thing is, if you want to play with the lip shape, you know, think about what kind of an eye shape you do. If this would be too structured and I would do round lips, it just wouldn't suit. I won't do anything crazy actually. So just go on her natural edge. Here round, here slightly more pointed, so I'll um, just curve it and then down. But the thing is, when I go on the lower lip, lower lip, I'll start here more inside. So I'll push the lips like this. This is easier, obviously, for you to do. So I'll start on the inner part, because if I would start here, outer, it, it pulls the lips slightly down. So by applying the pencil more towards the inner part of the lips you make them more bubbly you make them full and this pencil um by what's it <laughs> charlotte tilbury because it's a waterproof <laughs> pencil dried out so we need to use a different one <laughs> Damn. up on the cupid's bow just making them rounder <laughs> and this is always ticklish for the girls <laughs> Like, I'm so, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She has such perfect lips that I can actually just run the pencil along her natural edge. And this is how we'll make them curve. But as I said here on this part, you need to start here, more inside. So here, because this is how we'll make them bubbly. You know we got what you need, baby. You see glamorous because here's a lightly curved here you have light curves obviously I could do many many different lip shapes on her because this is slightly over the edge and so on now we'll wipe this off do a sharp edge and then we'll curl the hair with uh, this stuff and try to do really short curls if we would do like really really little curls she would look totally bubbly, but now she'll just look slightly more playful. I'm telling you, if it were me in this kind of shoes, like <laughs> listening to myself, how I do makeup, oh my God, I would be cracking up. <laughs> Here we go, camera action, rolling, sharp <laughs> edge. She said she won't laugh. She said <laughs> she, said she won't laugh. This is the part, the most important part. Making this Cupid's bow sharp and pointed. So it looks straight, straight up. I'll go closer with the camera, just wait a sec. 
that you see it from the distance and then here down. But for this you need a sharp pencil as well. That's what I was talking about. Look, sharp edge here. Pointed. The sharper the edgier here, so if you go up and down, point like this, the more bubbly she will look. But obviously there is a certain level, you know, of how much you can exaggerate your peaks. And same here, on the lower part, the more bubbly you want to make the lips, um, the more you need to start them on the inner part. So here, towards the inner part, like, I mean, middle part of the lips. Which means that, like, sometimes you need to use a concealer here. But that, that can look quite unnatural. So I try to just pencil them uh, on the inner edge of the lips. Tell us uh, what look you prefer. Is it this one, the curly one, or the previous one? Do you like better the more Hollywood glam, you know, feminine look? Write it in the comments below, and we'll see you soon. Take Bye. care. Ciao.